so many people that have come into my DM to ask me series of questions. I would like to go into food business like you do. Please, how did you get your hygiene rating? What are the things you did? Because we watched your previous video, but I think they don't understand so much about it. But please, can we... Oh, see, this question has so Guys, many. In this video today, I'm going to be di you know, digging extensively, be giving you all the tips, extensive tips, which when I was going to do mine, no one gave me these but you know, i'm so happy to you know give you guys these tips and if this is the kind of content you love for you to get an hygiene rating like mine please stay tuned hello guys you are welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope everyone is doing fine see this video today please my niger people don't be angry this video is focused to on on those that live in the uk if you live in the uk this video is for you please sit down relax especially if you are a caterer or you're a vendor food vendor or you want to cook food for the public in the comfort of your home and the things that you need to do because you can't just cook food for people because you know this boy it's been regulated by a board so you're welcome back to the channel my name is aj um of honey's kitchen and lifestyle so basically my channel is all about cooking and i'll you know giving you tips on hygiene and um you know everything that concerns food so if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in and to all my re to all my newbies, if you're watching my video for the first time, especially if you are in the UK, this video is for you. Like I said, you are welcome. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into it. There's so many things I will be telling you today. But the first question I'm going to be asking you, is that what you feel like doing? What prompted you to say you want to cook for people? Is it a passion or you just want to do it for money? It has to, you know, there must be a reason for you wanting to do this. Like me, I started food business. Well, I've always loved cooking um, by virtue of, you know, when I was growing up, it was something that, you know, I won't say it was an inborn, but at, at, at the end of the day, it became something that I loved to do. So anyway, please make sure you write a comment about this video for me and, um, um, and make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up. So first and foremost, like I said, I will ask you this question. Ask yourself, is this what you want to do? See, I'm going to be looking at my paper. I've got loads of things right here that I'll be discussing with you guys. So, I mean, are you happy doing it? Because it entails a lot of do's and don'ts. Like I said, is this something that you're passionate about or you just want to do it for money? You need to ask yourself. So first and foremost, number one, please get your pen and paper. Okay, you will want to register your company. You can be doing food, you can be cooking food for people already. Okay, but sorry, for you to be able to be public out there, for you to be able to like, for people, for people to know you, you must be under some regulations. So the first thing, the first thing you will want to do is register your business. Register your business in the UK. You have to, you know, contact the company house. I think I'll leave a link in the description you know, box for you guys. You would want to register your company. Either limited or a sole trader. Mine is a limited company. That is the first thing you would want to do to register your company. So the next thing I will say you would do is to start getting yourself ready for all the certificates that you need there's so many things that is very that you need to do that is very very important so for you to cook for people you need a food you know business insurance so this is my own insurance let me just show you what it looks like so i, I do i renew it every year so you must insure your business. It's very, very important, especially, you know, you don't, especially when, you know, we all don't pray for anything to happen. You know, so many things happen, hazard happens and 
that is why is um is prompting me to go into the next um item which i said you need to have some certificates you need some level of you know courses that you need to do to make sure that you are on the right track okay so you undergo some courses that relates with food handling so one of the first courses would be food hygiene and food safety so what is food hygiene food hygiene is a set of food manufacturing practices that aim to minimize biological food hazard through safe and clean operation to protect public health from foodborne diseases do you understand what i mean you know for you to be able to you, you must know some certain things do's and don'ts you know we just cook but there's some certain things that you just don't have to do when you're cooking for the public. There's so many um, allergies out there that people have that you don't know. So you need to, you know, you need to go undergo this, you know, these courses. And what is food safety? Food safety is a management system that is applied by food businesses to ensure that hazards are controlled to acceptable levels. See, there are some people that we eat prawn, and that is where they we go. You understand what I mean? Like my daughter, she can't eat a goosey. Once she eats a goosey, she'll start bloating up. Um, how would I explain it? She can't even eat it because once she start bloating, it can cause um uh what 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 would I say? Uh I don't know how to explain it, but I mean it has happened to her before. Some people don't eat um, celery, some people don't eat um, prawns, some people don't eat, some people don't take milk, milk, lactose intolerant. So these are the things that you need to know when you are catering for the outside world. This is not just your family. Okay, so I will show you what the certificates are. So I'm going to be showing you mine. <laughs> so this is my certificate. So this is level two food hygiene and safety for catering okay in this um in with this course you're going to learn so many things you're going to learn about allergy you're going to learn about contamination uh food contamination you're going to learn how to handle food i mean safely for you to be able to cook for the public so the second one which i will always encourage people to to have is HACCP. Okay, this is it. This is my level two HACCP for catering and retail. So for you to be able to sell food, either in the comfort of your home, but there's some certain food that you can't cook at home. You can't do at home. So in these courses, they will teach you extensively on all the things the kind of food that you can cook at home to sell to the public and the kind of food that you can't sell to the public so with this um HACCP, you're going to learn food allergy training uh, food and safety and food hygiene meaning of HACCP is hazard analysis critical control so if you run a food business you must have a plan based on HACCP. Um, plan that keeps your food safe from biological chemical and physical food safety hazard see you need to do these courses It's very very important it delves into so many things that we don't even know as caterers some things that we don't even like we don't even expect expect to happen there are little tiny tiny little things that you don't even expect that someone will have allergy for so you need to be very, you know, in these um, courses, it will give you an insight of everything that you really, really need to do. So having said that, once this is done and you know that you're fully ready, like I said, you can be cooking. But once you do all these courses, once you register your company, you ensure your, your, you have your food insurance, business insurance then you would want to register with the FSA. So FSA is Food Standard um, Agency. So you register with the food, st food Standard Agency. They make sure food is safe and what it says it is. 
So these are the people that will come into your, whether your home or whether your outside business, they are the ones that will come and, and inspect your, um, inspect your, your, your space, your, your business space to be, make sure that you have, you are regulated, you know what you're doing, you know what to do and what you don't have to do. You will have the right equipment to be able to, you know, cater for whoever that you're catering for and, um, and so on, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, like I said, you then want to register your, in your business with FSA. They will, they, once you, oh, like what happened to me, once I, you know, registered with them, they will send you a form. So these are what I went through. They sent us a form and in this form, it's very tricky. You're going to write, it's just, it's like, um, like eight pages whereby they will ask you for so many things. So you need to do this courses because inside that form these are where the questions are going to come out so if you don't do those courses you won't be able to answer those questions okay so they will now transfer you to your local authority which is your bureau which will now you know they will, with this form that you fill this is where they will say okay we have registered you you are now on our database or they will not accept you I don't know on what basis will they accept you or not, but based on everything that I wrote to them, because they asked me if I, all the things I had gotten in place, I told them I had my two certificates, I'm insured, my, my company is registered, you understand? So, and for you to be able to reg um, register with it, you must give them like, you must be trading for like a month, Okay. So they will now transfer you to your local authority and they will send you an email. They will send you a questionnaire and blah, blah, blah. Then um, if you're fit for trading. So once they've accepted you, then they will give you a stipulated time. They won't give you a time frame. And there's going to be a time frame where they will come to tell you. They will send you an email that, okay, we are coming at so-so so time. It's not like they will accept you today and tell you they're coming next week. Oh, no, they will give you time. They will send you an email to tell you that these are the things they want you to put in place. Even when you are, when you do these um, courses, you will know the things that you need to put in place, all the soap they, that you need to know how to use, you, you know, all the things, you know, is very, very, all the things that you need to know. Yes. So everything I've said, <clears throat> so everything I've said is not going to lead me to this book. It's called Safer Book better business for caterers you see this book you see this book is very very important every home i'm sorry every well every home or every business out there that is catering that is handling food you must have this because these are where you register you your daily um your daily booklets once you open your shop or your home, once you, these are the things you write down every day. Okay? So this safety booklet means, um, you know, safer food, better business, manage, management procedure. <coughs> sorry. Management procedure for food hygiene regulation for small businesses. I've seen it in bigger businesses too because I remember when I was still working at... Um, was still working they usually use this so it's got um pages where you register your daily activities you know your your temperature or your, te your food temperature how you cater how you stock control rotation you know how you rotate your food in your fridge freezer um once you open what time you open the activities that you did in the whether in your kitchen when you closed all the activities that you did these are the things that needs that you will be registering in this book okay guys so i think with these little tips for you to start these are the basics i mean would I, yeah these are the first things that you really really need to do if you want to read if you want to start you know, if you want to get an hygiene rating like this. Okay. See, I got a four. I'm aiming for five now. So the next, my next one. So is they inspect you every two and a half years. Yeah. 
that is what I understand. They inspect you for every two and a half years. So um, I'm getting ready for my own five. Okay, guys. So these are the four steps. So let me repeat the steps. The first thing is ask yourself, is this what you really want to do? The second thing you need to do is register your business. The third thing you need to do is make sure you get these certificates done. Okay, I'll put in the link um, in the um, description box on this um, um, where to register your company and um, the um, the courses, the training. I'm going to put it in the description box so that anybody that is interested can just click the link, link and you know go and do that. Then after 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 you've registered, after you have um, done the courses, make sure you have a business um, insurance. It's very very important then yeah then you you contact the fsa they will now register you and they will tell you when the inspection will take place so after this i'm going to be doing another video to tell you all the tips that you need to know when an inspection is going to take place okay so guys um this is where we draw the curtain of this video i hope i've been able to you know answer some of your questions for everyone that has been you know dming me or calling me so i think this is the first steps and i think you should be able to tap into it and once you take this first step then the second steps will follow so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it especially those of you that live in the uk i know this video is going to be very very important to you you want to be you want to sell your food to people you want to you know, you want to sell your food on Deliveroo or, or Uber Eats or Just Eat. These are the things that you need to do. They are very, very important. They won't even accept you if you don't do them. If you don't have this hygiene rating. Deliveroo, you, uh, Uber Eats, Just Eat, they will not accept you. You are only just going to be cooking in the comfort of your home. Which even the local authority must not even know about. Anyway guys, so thank you so much. Please let me see your comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And to you that you are watching me for the first time, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything that you want me to talk about with regards this hygiene rating, I know I'm not a professional when it comes to this, but I mean the little tips that I have, I've been putting it out there and people have been tapping into it. And I'm so, so happy about it. So... Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Like you have done. And you know what? It's so many, you know. No. No. Oh. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Just, I want you guys to guide.